welcome to yet another episode of saturday night live i'm so happy you guys are here and you're so amazing that uh, you people have all joined me in today's episode of saturday night live i'm so excited for this episode so last time last time last episode i think we discussed economics and we were at uh, we discussed cross elasticity and this was through desi boys <laughs> so much fun but today we are going towards marketing and as you might have guessed by looking at my screen already that we are discussing about something called cold calling right and a uh, cold calling is a concept in marketing and you must always get these cold calls right sabko hum sabko phone calls aate hain and what are these phone calls these phone calls are generally from your uh, life insurances or from your bankers or lenders or people who just want to give the loan without even asking anything to you right <laughs> okay that's a big mistake they do but before even asking who are you and if you're working or not but we'll look into that what they are doing that's another story but today we are going to discuss a concept about cold calling this is a very very cool concept <laughs> you saw what i did there anyhow uh, a very amazing movie had come in um, like i don't remember the year right now but um, this is a very very nice movie from the actor is will smith and it's based on a real life story of chris gardner and um, i will show you and we will see this one scene from this particular movie and understand what exactly is cold calling right so let's get on with the saturday night live this 15 minute session guys if you have any questions comments queries suggestions you need to put them in the comment section below or on the live chat so that i can see uh, if you have any questions you can also i will also put down the recording for you to see it later and this might go on the youtube channel as well so you can see it from there as well all right guys so let's without wasting any more time let's get on with it okay so i hope you can see um okay right so so the uh, the person you see on the screen is will smith uh, he is playing the role of chris gardener in the scene now uh, chris gardener um, in this particular scene is uh, struggling at this point phase in his life and um, he has a little son uh, who he has to feed and take care of so he works a lesser number of hours than a lot of his colleagues so he tries to keep up that enthusiasm and and mac and in those in those hours he tries to call as many people as possible without taking any breaks so let's see the scene and understand what exactly are we talking about here we go we're we're running running most money money after six months, months which is usually usually high. Hello, we were all working our way up call sheets to sign clients from the bottom to the top from the doorman to the ceo okay they'd stay till 7 but i had christopher i had to do in 6 hours what they do in 9 good afternoon my name is chris garner i'm calling from dean witter in order not to waste any time i wasn't hanging up the phone in between calls okay thank you very much i realized that by not hanging up the phone i gained another 8 minutes a day Why good morning to you. My name is Chris Gardner, I'm calling from Dean Witter. I also wasn't drinking water, so I didn't waste any time in the bathroom. Uh yes, I'd love to have the opportunity. Okay, no problem at all, sir. Thank you very much. But even doing all this, after 2 months, I still didn't have time to work my way up a sheet. Walter, 
Griffin's office? Yes, hello, my name is Chris Gardner. I'm calling from Mr. Walter Griffin. Concerning? Yes, ma'am, I'm calling from Dean Witter. Just after the Hello? Mr. Ribbon. Well, uh, hello, sir. My name is Chris Gardner. I'm calling from Dean Witter. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, yes, Mr. Ribbon, I would love to have the opportunity to sit with you to discuss some of our products, and I, I'm certain that I can be of some assistance to you. Can you be here in 20 minutes? Uh, uh, 20 minutes, absolutely. Just had someone cancel. Come now. I'll give you a few minutes before the 49ers. Monday Night Football, buddy. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye. Right, so uh, the scene that you just saw is from the movie Pursuit of Happiness. Now, um, as you can see on the screen also, let me give you the recap of the scene itself. So in this scene, you saw Chris Gardner. He's calling up a lot of people in the list that he has. Now, this list is called the prospect list. So basically, you're trying to convert these people to buy your product right that is essentially what cold calling is done for it's a marketing tool so uh, he's trying to call all these people and he's going from the very end to the top and uh, he's telling you that even in two months he's not been able to go to the top of the list so what he does is he randomly calls the top person who's the CEO of some company. He picks up the phone and he calls that guy. And as he calls him, the other side, he says, someone just cancelled on me. Why don't you come to my office in 20 minutes? And although his office was far from where he had to go, he still said that, yes, I would come in and I would meet you right now and, uh, you know, in 20 minutes. So this is what um, uh, one of the qualities of a salesperson is, right? So that is what they're trying to portray in this particular scene. Cold calling itself means a marketing technique. Now, a lot of companies do this even in today's time. Uh, in today's time, it is a digital age, but the personal aspect of calling or getting on a phone is still not gone it is still there it is still better than hello how are you on a whatsapp or on a message so it creates that personal uh, connection with someone you don't know and that is why this man he says why don't you come and meet me so he's he wants to take that opportunity he grabs that opportunity and he runs for it although that's not being shown to you in the scene but he says yes affirm in in affirmative i'll come right now and he keeps on the phone and he goes out running now there are some uh, here aspects that you need to remember so a cold calling is basically done first to advertise your product Second, uh, this can or this cannot convert into sales. That's a secondary part of cold calling, right? So the first thing is that you are advertising a product. Now, a lot of times, especially in India, you get a lot of calls from different people across channels where they just say this, that this is an information call, right? So you must have experienced that sometime. So when you pick up the phone and somehow you say, okay, I'm not interested in this product, but these guys would from the opposite side, who's the salesperson would say, but ma'am, I'm calling you just to inform you about the product, right? Now there's a difference here. These guys are only trying to advertise and inform you about the product, not wanting to convert you right now. That means they're not selling you the product right now. So do you see the difference? This is very common and this is this is one of the goals of marketing, right? So uh, again, uh, coming back from understanding what exactly cold calling is used for, second part is to understand what and how these sales people should be like. What are the quality traits that they should imbibe in themselves to be a person who can uh, literally convert the other uh, prospect. So what I mean by that is, not only really trying to help the other person so meeting the needs of the customer is super important now uh, what does this mean this means that how my product 
that is a company's product would serve the need of the customer right not just wanting to make money but how is the person able to serve them better so the underlying thing should be very important so just to do that what are the traits for a sales person so first should be drive right a, a, any sales person should have a lot of drive in them only then probably that can be conquered somebody can be converted into a sale prospect second um he or she should be extremely passionate about what they are doing if they are not passionate um i'm sorry to say the sale would not happen or the uh, person would won't be able to convert the other uh, party now why why do i say that that is because the person the other person whom you're trying to convert might lose interest and if you're not passionate you might let them go so if you don't like the product like or if you don't believe in the product then there is a high chance that the person would leave now let me give you an example uh when i had started working i was given a sales job yeah me <laughs> of all the people in the world <laughs> so i am somebody who i know what my strengths and weaknesses are one of my weakness is the sales aspect and when i did, do not believe in the product i cannot sell it so when i was given this opportunity um and i really did not believe in the product but i had to kind of you know uh package it rightly and sell it so i was not passionate about what i was doing at that point of time i was completely out of line with the customer that i had spoken i was i used to tell him or her please take this <laughs> and that's a very bad strategy that is not a good strategy in any way so we really need to understand where the sales person is coming from and what is their drive they should have the drive and they should be passionate about what they are selling another quality that uh, they should have is positivity now positivity is super super important as you saw in the scene also uh, will smith or chris gardner is super positive even after he just had two three calls which were you know which were rejecting him essentially rejection essentially means that i'm not interested in buying a product right now or listening about the product so i don't want please don't waste my time that is the kind of normal reactions that people do give out to sales people people who cold call specially so that's very common to have and that is that is something that uh, a sales person is used to and they should be able to ignore this um only then uh, they would be able to have better jobs and better ideas right uh, they would be positive about what they are selling so even after facing all these rejection calls um as soon as he got an opportunity chris gardner jumped to it so that is the kind of uh, thing we are talking about here so he is obviously very positive and this is one of the most valuable trait rather i should say the most invaluable trait right also uh, if you can see on the screen a uh, sales person should be dedicated uh, should be passionate like i mentioned sincere attentive and efficient so these are some qualities that should definitely be there um like i have already told you it's a marketing tool and in india life insurance bankers and lenders use it you know very generously so this is used across india now uh, there were there was a time and there still is a you know this still happens and there's a boom here um that uh, at one point of time there were a plethora of call centers in india right people from outside especially united states would outsource everything related to a product to india and in india there were call centers across and people would just call all the time so this was the whole uh, decade of call centers the time of call centers if you remember around 
2007, 2006, 7, there was, it was a time of call centers. <laughs> Although the call centers in, um, in India still thrive, but the, the time was very different at that point of time when everything was being outsourced. So, uh, um, in India, uh, calls are regulated through TRAI, which is uh, the regulatory body. Uh, any unsolicited call that you get needs to be registered and this came out in the RBI circular in 2007 right so guys um, I am not sure if you have any questions right now if you do please uh, write to me uh, please uh, also subscribe to the YouTube channel and the um, community that I have. You can join in the community if you think that you understand concepts like this. If you don't, no pressure, please don't join and that is all right. Meanwhile, I have exceeded I think a minute. Please take care, stay safe and stay healthy. Enjoy yourselves, have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday night and have a great day ahead thank you so much this is a goodbye